Hello all, welcome to oratonics.com. In this session, we'll discuss about account group and Sunburst reporting in Oracle Fusion ER. So let's get into agenda. The different reporting technologies available in Oracle Fusion, the Financial Reporting Center, how do we uh, create accounting group or Sunburst report, as well as what is account group and Sunburst. So the list of reporting technologies which are available in Oracle ERP are like uh, the couple of things, like around seven actually. So the financial reporting ones, SmartView, Sunburst, OTBI, and BI Publisher, and there's another mobile specific report also. Okay, so here if you observe, the account group and Sunburst falls into a similar category. So based on the accounting group, account group only, we'll have a Sunburst report. So now in the coming slide, we'll understand how do we create account group, as well as how do we view the output of Sunburst. And uh, let us understand how do we view the report output, as well as, you know, like uh, what does FRC is all about. The financial reporting center is the one place where we can have access to all the reporting technologies. Okay. So in this example, you can observe that to navigate to the financial reporting center, you have to click on others. And in that, you select the financial reporting center and the search items, you can search the relevant report and you can open it. So now the main topic, account group and Sunburst. So what is account group? So account groups are, you know, like uh, to have a, easy reporting you simply group the list of accounts and you just observe what is the value of those particular account groups for a specific period or a year and what is this sunburst a sunburst is just a simple graphical chart based on the data so in this oracle fusion erp once you create account group automatically we can visualize the output of this particular account group information in a in a visualization in a visualization chart called sunburst it's a multi-level pie chart it's almost similar to pie chart but it's a circle with a multi-level pie chart information. So now, what are the steps involved in creating the account group as well as the inverse chart? The first thing is you have to create accounting group. You have to navigate to general accounting, click on general accounting dashboard, and then you'll be navigating to general accounting dashboard. In that account monitor, you click on view, account group, and click on create, and then you will mention the respective details. So the first thing you have to mention is the name, display in, receivables, expenses, etc. Time option, accounting period, quarter or year, comparison, pre or year or actual year kind of thing, PTD or YTD. Then the relevant account details and then click on save and close. So this is a first step in creating accounting group. And then once account group is created, what you can do is by default, whenever you create an account group, automatically an analytics infolet is automatically generated for that respective account group. But keep in mind that this may not be available at instant it may take around a couple of minutes five to ten minutes or even sometimes until unless you log in log out it may not work so what you do is once it is created just wait for five minutes log in and log out and click on analytics refresh the general accounting analytics you should be able to see your your particular respective infolet for that particular accounting group and you can maximize it and it will show the information in a tabular fashion like this and if at all if you want to check the sunburst report also you can click on view as a sunburst from here also this is another option of viewing a sunburst in the next slide we'll see uh, the different way of viewing the sunburst also so now to view the actual sunburst report what you can do is go to click on others financial reporting center and click on this particular report access account group demo if at all if that report is available or the mention the appropriate name which you created and then click on this hyperlink it will navigate to another another page and there you click on view as a table or view as a sunburst. If you click on view as a sunburst, it will show the sunburst report. And if you click on view as a table, it will show the table of data, which you have similar information available in the account group. This is how we create a sunburst report in Oracle Fusion. So now we'll just perform the similar steps from our instance. So I'll just navigate to the Fusion instance here. So the first step, step is like a click on home, click on general accounting, general accounting dashboard click on task so click sorry you have to click on account monitor account group and click on create so account monitor view account this one and i'll say account group demo two and you can mention expenses or revenues and dynamically derived ledger and we'll go with public and then mention the respective information like uh, the company information the chart lob information 
account information cost center okay Yeah, let's create one more so 100 actually stands for yeah we'll just go with 101 okay so it depends upon which particular chart of account you have data so mention that mention that one or based on your requirement you mentioned the appropriate one okay Okay, so this one I'll just change it to 101. So now I just click on save. So our account group name is XX account group demo 2. Okay, so this one actually you have, you have to select it from drop down. Sometimes it does not allow us to select it appropriately. Now, as it is not working, what I can do is I'll just delete it, I'll create again, or better, I'll just click on save first. It's not working right this is not taking it okay let me recreate it so um, Okay, just mention the appropriate values for account groups you must provide a name for each account specified okay you have to mention the name if at all if you want to see them in the info let okay account one i'll just mention it as so if at all if you are checking of the expense account and the account the, the account which you select also should be expense so there are a couple of standard validation which are available so you have to mention them appropriately so for easier purpose what i'll do is i'll just try to mention the information which i considered already right for expenses i considered a 5000 one so i'll just go with that one so to just have a demo purpose i'll just try to mention the appropriate one and just click on save and yeah that's it so this is how you can create an accounting group and you can add it up later period also and couple of settings you can change it also okay now once it is saved you can just click on cancel or you can click on home so now i just click on cancel and save changes and now let us see the info let so it may not be available instant so by default you know like it may not be loaded automatically just click on refresh click on refresh hopefully let's see whether it shows or not if not we'll just see the existing one which i created so it will not be available by default as i said you it will take some time to get loaded yeah so our particular xx account group demo 2 is available so somehow so i can just click here you can minimize it and yeah this is our latest one which we define and you can maximize this this is how it is available or you can if you at all if you want to see the information in the sunburst you can click on view as a sunburst and it will directly navigate to the sunburst report yeah so this is how the sunburst looks like as the data is not available it is not showing anything maybe you can try that uh, to check their appropriate period or maybe check the accounts if it is data is available or not based on that you know it will show the data so as date none of the data is available it is not showing anything now let us see other way of viewing the sunburst report from the financial reporting center so now what we'll do is we'll click on others click on financial reporting center and you search the report you search the smart view report so i'll just go with xx and sometimes one more thing is that it may not show the information here it will not show your like a sunburst report here or accounting group here just click on any of the existing sunburst report and just click open that and then what you can do is here it one good thing is it provides an option to check out all the account groups so now you can observe here it shows the accounting groups which i created earlier 
this is the one which I created earlier, Pixels account group demo. And you can see the output of this one, view as a sunburst. And I'll select the accounting group, the period. Yeah, so this is how the sunburst looks like. And you can also see the latest one which we created just now. If at all, if it is having data, yeah, it will work. Else it simply says no data to display. Okay. And you can click on view as a table, it shows the data output like this. And one more thing is there is no technical coding involved. It's just more of a configuration based on you just enter the data in the accounting group and you can see the output in the analytics as well as the sunburst. So it's more of you know like configuration information. You just select the account which for which you want to have a sunburst. And there is no migration kind of thing. Let us say if you want to have the similar one in another instance, you have to create it manually. Or you can, of course, you can export it, but there is I don't see any option to upload it. Okay. So this is all about sunburst reporting as well as accounting group in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.